This here is an edible fungus. It's called Scarlet Elf Cup. You can tell from its name what it's about pretty much. It's a cup-shaped fungus which has a rich red or scarlet color, at least in the interior. The exterior is more pale and dull, but the interior is bright red, though at times it can go into orange, much paler red than you see here. It's an early season mushroom and in my woods it's actually the first edible mushroom of the year. It's not a very big and not a very meaty mushroom, like you cannot compare it to bolets for example, so you're not gonna get a substantial meal out of it. And according to some literature it's tasteless, but that's not been my experience. I actually found it quite tasteful and so do many other mushroom foragers I know. But because it's quite unsubstantial, I mean it doesn't have much flesh on it, it's quite thin and small, what I usually do with it when I harvest it is add it to other mushroom dishes. Right now we're in early spring, but I still have some dried mushrooms left over from last year, so what I typically do is I cook a meal with these mushrooms and add a few scarlet elf cups to them. And even though these scarlet elf cups, they don't add much volume to the dish, they spruce it up with this vivid red color, so they spruce it up visually rather than as far as volume is concerned. These mushrooms, they grow on small sticks. They are a wood decaying mushroom. Sometimes you see them, like here, uh, growing out of the ground. At least they seem to be growing out of the ground, but they're not. They're definitely growing out of sticks or branches or twigs that are buried in the ground. From time to time you can find a whole stick with many of these mushrooms. And as a general rule of thumb, if you find one, like I found here, uh, keep looking around because there's bound to be more. Usually, usually there are more. Oftentimes there are more, I would say, actually. So just keep looking, but you have to look under the leaves from time to time, because they, <laughs> they're small and they hide sometimes under the leaves. There's been times when I found a twig with scarlet elf cap growing on it, and the whole twig was covered in it, so there was quite a good harvest off of it, but I don't see one like that here. But they definitely are a wood decaying fungus, so they grow out of wood, no other ground. And I would say that Scarlet Elf Cup is actually an easy mushroom to forage, even for a novice mushroomer. If you consider uh, its unique shape and color, but mostly the season when it grows, and that season being late winter, early spring, in other words, the time of year when few other mushrooms grow, it's rather hard to confuse this fungus with something else. I mean, there's not much else growing at the time, at least not, not much fungus. Hear that? <laughs> That's Eurasian J mimicking a buzzard. There is another fungus that looks identical. So identical it's actually indistinguishable. Here's the J. It's a Eurasian J making a call. But that's not her call, that's a mimic. She mimics a buzzard. There is another fungus, it's called Ruby Elf Cup, and it looks indistinguishable, at least macroscopically, so what you can see with your own eyes. And uh, basically you would need uh, to examine the fungus under a microscope to determine whether it's Scarlet or Ruby Elf Cup. But Ruby Elf Cup is much rarer, at least in my neck of the woods. And like its Scarlet cousin, which you can see here, it's also edible, so there's no risk in confusing the two. Some literature lists Scarlet Elf Cup as inedible, or suspect at least, probably because it's so unsubstantial and does mostly not worth the effort to harvest, to collect. But truth is, I've been eating Scarlet Elf Cup for years, and they've been eaten in Central Europe for centuries, and I've never had anything but positive experiences consuming them. But that's me, so you do your own due diligence before you decide to eat this or any other mushroom actually. No, it doesn't matter, this one or any other. Make sure you know what you're doing. As for me, I am definitely harvesting these and I am eating them. But Scarlet Elf Cup, much as any other mushroom, must be cooked before consumption. This goes for Scarlet Elf Cup specifically, but in my opinion no mushroom should be consumed raw and all should be cooked before consumption, so no difference here. So basically cook your mushrooms, that's the message. 
And uh, what's interesting about scarlet elf cups is that unlike other mushrooms, they don't release spores from the underside by dropping them down on the ground, but rather from the red upper side. And they do that by basically exploding, by popping them up in what could be called a micro explosion. It's a puff, like poof. And I'm not even exaggerating. They actually do pop like kind of like that when they release the spores. And if you spend enough time in the woods this time of the year, early spring, late winter, when you see these uh, scarlet elf cups growing, I'd say it's only a question of time before you hear the fungus explode. And if you luck out, you'll see it explode. And it's basically, it's a release of spores. It looks like dust, but they do make this popping sound when they do release these spores. So it's like, <laughs> quite a sight to behold. Anyway, this is Scarlet Elf Cup. It's a good, edible, and in my opinion, tasty fungus. I'd love to say that it's worth the harvest, but indeed it's not very substantial. It's just a small fungus, so you wouldn't be able to make a whole meal out of it, but you can add it to existing meals to add some color to it and some flavor possibly. That's what I do anyway. So good luck guys, harvesting mushrooms, so whatever you do, keep rocking, keep going to the woods. Nature heals. Here is that J again. So I have this unpleasant branch in the way. It's a tree. So I have to crawl under it to get to the other scarlet elf cup. Oi, 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 oi. Uh, not very accessible. See here you can see it well, they grow attached to wood. There's, a, there's another one, and a little one here. But this one's so small and so old, I'm not gonna harvest that one. But even when they seem to be growing on the ground, there's basically a branch underground that they feed nutrients off of. But they're always attached to some kind of wood. So I'll harvest this one. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny little one here. But look how small it is. Yeah, this one stays. I found some lungwort as well. Beside the mushrooms. There's more here. I'm gonna harvest it. There's another one here, but no flowers yet. No leaves. No flowers yet, so I'm gonna leave this one, but I'm gonna harvest the one with flowers. This is Suffolk lungwort, not common lungwort, but it contains pretty much the same ingredients as common lungwort. It just doesn't have spots on the leaves. Still a healthy herb for a medicinal tea.